Uh, how's it going today? It's 15 of February. Uh, Thursday, and we are taking a look at the market. Uh, let's take a look at uh, what's happening with farming. The food would be uh, food security, which should be very important, right? And everything that's happening. Uh, just seeing everything on the news, what's happening. I'm trying to understand it, right? And now we're taking a look. Let's take a look at some of the press releases within the government and everything what's happening first. Let's begin by taking a look. Uh, it's something I could cover for you, right? So I know government strategy and that's kind of where the government's looking to head, right? Let's take a look at some of the new initiatives, right? Let's begin by taking a look at the press releases. So there's going to be two. First one, that would be a case study example, so to say, something that was published yesterday. And from there, let's take a look at some of the initiatives, right? I was uh, taking a look at securing finance, right? Unless you're a big farmer, and some of the initiatives uh, that I was managing to find for that would be you would need to match fund some of those funds, right? Available. So that would be about 50% is something that you need to cover. A small farmer, not necessarily. I've been trying to find perhaps based on your business location, perhaps that would be local initiatives, how you can receive funding. That's my personal experience. I don't know all the details, right? Uh, but either way, let's take a look at. Uh, so let's keep names, uh, perhaps names for the future, but just in case, put, uh, focus on farming and innovation on SW Scotland visits. Scotland Office Minister says how 21 billion UK's government's investment will benefit digital diet chain and Scottish rural uh, college and meets team at uh, farm's name, right? Uh, there might be one that I was thinking of look at with some of <laughs> they were putting colors, right? So that would uh, I think that would be sort of way of tracking uh, performance and or help animal to detect uh, how animal is feeling constantly all the time, digitally tracking that information, right? So some of the digital projects I was thinking of look at, right? I'm not entirely sure that's the project that you're referring to, but that would be just an example of new technology and how the technology can uh, help animals, right? Making sure that uh, the health, performance, and everything. <laughs> the health, uh, how to say how try it on people first with the watches and the, from the regular stand, <laughs> which is kind of interesting, I guess, approach. But either way, uh, Scotland's office minister uh, is named, uh, been a visiting part of uh, that's in the locations in Dumfries and or uh, it's a different location in Galloway, looking at uh, how digital innovation funded by more than 21 million of government's investment is helping to grow the rural economy. Okay, so there's some announcements and uh, the, uh, people are doing something, which is great, it's always good. I would like to bring more attention to that uh, that something's happening, people are doing other all the details. Uh, let's progress in some of the initiatives, right? Okay, let's progress to the people. <laughs> people sit in the car, they have drew it to one of the farmers, they have a chat and have taken some pictures, which is always good. It's very important, by the way. <laughs> That's why I have uh, decided to take a look at it. But let's progress, right? Uh, thousands of applications made for sustainable farming initiative. SFI has been exposed back and that and only improved based on farmers feedback to include 50 new actions on the 10% increase in average value for agreement okay 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 so okay great let's uh, delve a little bit deeper and try to understand this initiative I think that would be more important right more than 10,000 farmers across England have now applied for the improved sustainable farming incentives uh, since it opened in September, uh, there is a department called DAFRA has announced it today, Wednesday 14th, that would be yesterday. So we're looking perhaps improving by 10,000. Mm, would that re be a reasonable number? That would be small farmers, I would say. Big big ones? Mm, perhaps. I, I don't know all the details. If you would ask me, I was uh, taking a look at the, uh, doing a lot of research to, in order to try and understand everything what's happening. So uh, my my judgment might be clouded, but uh, if you would ask me, there should be more small farmers than ten thousand. If you would ask me, based on prices and uh, eggs, uh, things things like that. Uh, if you would ask me, there should be more small farmers. Even it's, it might be very hard. It's uh, better <laughs> to be able to ask a bigger farmer, but you know, let's look at again. So that's my opinion. So let's stick with it. <laughs> let's stick with the information, right? Four months after our applications reopened, the scheme which has been developed uh, with the feedback from farmers, 
it is providing top player with one in eight eligible farmers. Okay. Now submitted an application is is on the top of thirty two thousand court size dealership agreements with already in place. Okay, so they're saying that they're doing something, which, which is great. We can uh, perhaps progress into some of the statistics, but I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> if you would ask me what, what's really happening, right? So there's a potential of importing food. There's a potential there. And now we are taking a look at uh, increasing prices. So we, what, what's happening now, right? So we're increasing prices and there's a potential there. And now uh, government need to be a middle person in uh, overseeing all the process. Should we import food or should we increase parts, uh, prices for uh, potential consumers or people who are purchasing food? So what's happening now? <laughs> so is it competitive market or it's not competitive market? So it's a free uh, market economics or it's not. So this is what's really happening. <laughs> Harma, uh, farmers has taken action. Uh, taking up actions throughout the scheme to uh, deliver tangible environment benefits along, uh, alongside food production. As of January, 174,000 hectares of arable land is now being managed without incentives. Okay, so to 1,000 hectares of low input grassland is focused on improving sustainability and almost. Uh, 15,000 kilometers of uh, grows are uh, under management. Okay, it comes as DAFRA uh, also announced. Uh, it doesn't really matter because uh, when, when I'm taking a look at the UK's overall strategy, right? So it's uh, roughly at 50%. So this is what's really important. Is the, when it comes to uh, strategic goals that the UK has set for themselves, that would be about 50 and uh, keeping all the production, and 50 would be imported. So this is what's really happening and now we're looking perhaps increasing in uh, poultry beef uh, the meat or entire meat uh, products right so perhaps increasing those if they can by 10 percent while increasing that by that might be demand on the footprint on the land so that's what they're discussing here but either way so <laughs> it's very hard to keep keep i need to keep catching what they're actually discussing but either way <laughs> <laughs> why why is it, why that would be important, right? <laughs> it comes as DAF announces the winner of the on farm environmental residence competition which projects awarded a share of uh, twelve point two million funding to solve long term challenges to, uh, to plants, crops and farm animals. Uh, as SFI has been expanded and improved based on farmers' feedback with uh, straight forward application process greater flexibility for farmers to choose the action that, uh, that works for them and the ability to be in SFI at the same time as the contest steership as long as the actions are compatible. Today's announcement follows the government's announcement of the Oxford Farming Conference that I, something that I was taking a look at, right? So they stick it with the same strategy. I'll skip that. It's something I have covered already. Same information, right? Uh, let's progress, right? Uh, so, uh, on <laughs> same form information uh, that would be a strategy that uh, when it comes to food security, that would be about 50%, right? Uh, for UK strategy, right? Within that, uh, something that we're discussing, they're potentially looking to increase up to by 10%, but they're looking to increase 10%, but that would be uh, high income individuals who dietary requirements potentially going to be more poultry and meat. And potentially instead of importing those they're looking to grow that locally if they can but uh, that's it uh, there's a different complexity when it comes to perhaps skills expertise uh, additional government support and everything well within some of the uh, government agreements and it comes to perhaps uh, giving more room for imported food and instead of uh, competitive local markets right so we, and now they're looking artificially inflate the price and all everything. So the process is very complex. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I would like to take a look at this uh, from engineering standpoint of view, right? Even uh, I did a little bit of research and trying to understand different practices and how potentially to grow food, right? As of now, it's not necessarily best and all cost effective way of doing it, just because some of those technologies are very 
early development stages, right? So as of now, uh, that's where things are, right? As of now, perhaps later some of the technologies might be able to improve some of the practices and with more or better ways of uh, perhaps producing food. Hopefully, so they might be interested in launching some some of the initiatives, right? And uh, they're, they're covering in more detail that there's an internal support or, uh, on offer for farmers applying, considering applying for a scheme, including sector specific, okay, the APRA and RPA uh, colleagues, uh, six regions, events in uh, Southwest, West Midlands, Northeast, and Oriate awareness in the schemes, especially along living stock and mixed sectors. Okay, okay. Uh, plan to end webinars with the uh, trusted networks, including uh, there's names, perhaps, and all project names, right? And uh, the DAFRA, right? Ongoing monthly engagements with the third stakeholders throughout farming. And myself, as of now, I'm thinking, look at this sector. Perhaps I'll try to chart some of those initiatives mentioned within this article. As well as I'm taking a look at uh, potentially growing trees, right? And I'm taking a look at this market as well. As of now, there's no response, so it's been I don't know, four months perhaps. <laughs> there's no response. <laughs> Yourself, if you're interested in learning more, I have published a book where I'm taking a look at business and what's very important for many people to understand when it comes to business. Well, that's where the game starts in this book. I'm taking a look at and uh, some of the concepts would be very important for many people who are looking to set up their business and how to operate it, right? Uh, food that would be very important, so I'm looking to bring uh, more people's attention. And uh, when it comes to some of those decisions, right? Uh, even though we are taking a look at technology, all the sector space, all the sector side, right? food and food security is very, very important, right? And uh, I can't highlight that enough. Uh, within this book, I'm taking a look at some of those concepts that we're doing a lot of research. Uh, that's phase one. Uh, it's phase two, uh, taking action based on that information and uh, setting up a business and acquiring customers from there progressing in and or investing in a lot of ventures, right? So the three different phases, we can decode that within the book is something you're definitely interested in. There's going to be two our code in the comments that side below. <laughs> Farming initiative program on uh, farm environment resilience competition. 24 uh, innovative projects that are developing cutting edge technologies for future proof. British farms will receive share of over 12.6 million TBs. Productivity, food security, and sustainable farming practices has been announced today. Okay, so that would be something that already been happened, right? Is If anything, I would be interested in how I can take part in some, some of those initiatives, right? What is the process? Where I can find this information? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm there. I'm looking to show up and I'm looking to help if I can. <laughs> I don't know if other sectors are looking to government is looking to increase by ten percent all the prices. I don't know if other sectors they're gonna do the same. We're gonna, we're gonna take a look at this. <laughs> the number of press releases, right? If if not, perhaps I need to get into that market, right? Instead of me being a hater, so to say, quote unquote. I'm looking to get into this market. <laughs> I mean, increasing rights like that? Why I'm sitting on the sidelines? Why I'm sitting on the bench? I'm going to be on the playing field, right? <laughs> Scoring rebounds. <laughs> well, I'm saying I don't understand this sector, right? So I'll potentially be getting involved and or perhaps others would consider doing the same. I don't know entirely, I'm not entirely sure what the sector is, perhaps uh, fish, meat, poultry, other sectors, right? Uh, anything would work, right? With 10% increases, great. Uh, let's see how we can help these people, right? Thanks for watching, see you next one.